As the polls closed on Tuesday, Long Island voters sided with putting more tax dollars towards their children's education. At the polls, voters rejected a total of 10 school budgets. School officials said voters shot down budgets in Port Jefferson, Westbury, West Babylon, Windanch, West Hempstead, Elwood, Herricks, Garden City, Levittown, and East Rockaway, even as 113 other districts reported that budgets had been approved. You know, the people that's there now, if they're not going to do it right, bye. Right. We need a new change, fresh people, a fresh atmosphere in Windanch. My taxes keep going up. I don't get any more income. My wife is working. She's going to have to work till she's 70. Basically, it's time for a change, time to try to clean up this board and try to get these kids educated and do the right thing. Windanch voters shot down a budget that would have meant a 13.93% increase in school taxes for the average homeowner. Port Jefferson voters rejected a spending plan that would have raised the district's tax levy by 3.47%. And West Babylon voters said no to a budget that would have raised the average homeowner's tax bill by more than 7%. I do not have children. I am paying for something that I never have and never will use, and I'm tired of it. Voters in some districts, including South Country, Middle Country, and Levittown, also turned out incumbent school board candidates. Better than average turnout was the story throughout the afternoon in many districts, although officials in Bridgehampton and remsenburg Spionk said weather kept turnout low. I have three kids in the district. They're up and coming. They're doing excellent academically. I support the budget. I support the teachers who would darn good job every day. We want to make sure that our kids get everything that is entitled to them and that the money is used properly.